So we're backstage at the Brit Nominations 2014, and I'm here with arguably the most well-tailored rapper in the UK, Mr. Temper. How's it hanging? How you doing? Happy New Year. You're right. Good. Yeah. Happy New Year. So you just finished sound checking to op yes. open the Brit Nominations, and now someone else is sound checking. Oh, They're gonna camp our star. Pipe down, players. <laughs> um, so that's a massive look, man. How's that feel? Really good. Really good. It's so good to start the new year. Yeah. On a like with a bang like this, you know, and like you know, the Brits is one of the most important events in the whole country throughout yeah. the whole year. So to be at the launch, to be performing some new tracks off of the album and opening the show as well, I couldn't ask for more. Yeah. What's been your favourite moment of the award ceremony over the years? Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna have to say like for me, I would say the the, the year I was nominated and mm -hmm. the year I kind of went because yeah. for me like the Brits has been such an event. Ever since I can remember, I've always watched it every single year, yeah. and it seemed like such a like distant thing for me. So something that would be so difficult to attain. So mm -hmm. the, the time when I was finally nominated and I got to go down, won a couple as well. Yeah, that man. was that was massive. That was my favorite time. Cast your mind back. You're there. You're sitting at the table, maybe enjoying some bubbly. Yes. Maybe a nice potato souffle. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and you hear your name get called out. Yeah. What's going through your mind when you're walking on stage? First of all, you get hot. Yeah. And you know, because my skin's quite dark, I've, I yeah. think it's a feeling of being red. I think it might oh, be. Oh, right, okay. You just get really hot in your face, and then everyone at your table kind of looks at you. Like, oh. And then I think on the second time around, someone picked me up as well, and I was groped a little bit. I don't know if that is a standard thing. Who do they let in? I know. Who do they let in? But man? that's all I remember. That is everything. Yeah, okay. So some of the big names when it comes to nominations today. Yes. Oh, disclosure, they're up for three. Yep. Are you a big raver? I am a big raver. I did rave a lot last year to Disclosure, so mm -hmm. yeah. Because I see you as quite like a well cut, well tailored guy. Do I you kind of drink tea all the time? Do, and just do nothing. <laughs> no, no, like you're a hustler, but I mean, do you kind of like let it all hang out and just go shuffling to? Sometimes the early it hours? depends. It depends on where you where you go. Luckily, one of our disturbing London artists is actually on the Disclosure record, Sasha, Sasha Keeble. Yeah. yeah, so she did the Voices song, which is like the new single now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we were really excited off of the back of that, and I went to see them perform like numerous times throughout <laughs> the summer. And it's always a crazy rave with those guys. Um, another lady up for three is your yep. mate Ellie Golding. Yes. She's up for two in the same category for best single. Wow. That's big. Well, right? wh which ones? Um, one with Calvin. And one and Burn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so she's got a good chance. I think she's got a very good chance. Yeah. I think this is her time. I think this has mm -hmm. definitely been like an Ellie Golding. <laughs> Yeah, and so yeah. she definitely deserves to bag a few. She's a really like kind of slow but strong burner. Do you yes. know what I mean? She's like, powerful and like she is. She's like a good totem pole or something. I got my you know? fingers crossed for her and my toes as well. Um, and you work with her. Mm -hmm. I hear rumors on the grapevine that you're going to be hooking up with another amazing female. Okay, Adele. Oh wow. Okay. Do you know what? She's somebody who's been yeah. on my wish list for like yeah, two yeah. or three years now, mm -hmm. yeah. and I think since the first time I mentioned it, everybody yeah, yeah. just haunts me but with that. Yeah, but okay. at some stage in my life, yeah. I would love to work with Adele. She's a personally a very good friend and someone whose music yeah, I really yeah. respect. So when the opportunity is yeah. there, the right song, yeah. right time, I would love to make that happen. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, one of my favourite moments with the Brits was mm -hmm. when So Solid yeah. released yeah. five pound notes from the ceiling. Do you remember wow. That? Whoa. Yeah. Yes, I do remember. It's in that. the nineties glory. I man. do remember that. Yeah. The nineties were the days. <sighs> Good hard times. We were about ten. Yes. Um, have you got anything up your sleeve for your performance? Well, I definitely don't have enough money to bring <laughs> out five pound notes everywhere. But um, no, do you know what? Just explosive. Like I've, yeah. I've been itching to be back on the stage again. We have like our tour in March that I'm really looking forward to the arena tour and whatnot. But before then, you mm -hmm. know, I'm just happy to be here and be performing new music. You know, so hopefully that all comes across on the stage today. And if you could give an award to anyone for anything, who would that be? Oh, I'd give an award to my mum for Good being very answer. supportive. And we'd do it at the Brits and, you know, we'd make her get dressed by somebody, you know, <sighs> someone very fashionable and she'd do yep. the walk and the speech and I'm sure she'll have a lot to say. Get, get, get her a glam squad and give her a good night exactly. out. Exactly, yeah, she deserves it. Yeah, deserves well, it. safe Tiny's mum. Thank you very much. <laughs>